We got a horn here that you all need to make, and chances are you have plenty of the materials to do so. Today we have the Fulgering Horn 2, a lovely Rarity 10 horn that is much better than it ever deserved to be. Off the jump, two things that need to be clear. One, not having a unique name or look does not disqualify a weapon from being good. Two, a weapon not being rarity 11 or 12 also does not disqualify a weapon from being good and this horn proves both of those things and then some. Let's take a look at the stats and songs. Starting off with the raw we're sitting at 1050. Pretty bad right? Well don't judge this book by its cover just yet. Not a great look on the sharpness as it starts in the blue but can easily be pushed to white even with a single level of handicraft. Back on the positive vibes, we get a whopping 20% affinity right off the top. We get a decent 330 and Thunder element, which it's not Valhazak levels of element, but it's also not Nergagante levels. It's right in the middle. Lastly, we have a cute Whittle level 1 decoration slot to round things out. The song list is a good one, and we all know exactly why. The Mac Daddy Attack Up L slash XL is here, and it comes in full effect. That 1050 we were talking about before doesn't look nearly as bad now, does it? Of course I have to highlight impact wave as well as wind pressure negated for the good it does, albeit in sort of a niche fashion. The real beauty of this horn comes in with the fact that it's not unique. It's not a weapon that gets the shiny emblem that says rarity 12, and it does get the bone horn treatment in its design. But you know what that means. Augmenting this bad boy is an absolute breeze, and you get access to custom upgrades as well. The damage you can pull off with this thing as it is, is pretty impressive enough, but you can very easily inject this thing three times with attack augments if you want to go super aggressive in your play. This along with the Mad Bone Horn, which I'll also cover, are two hidden gems that you can get extremely early in Iceborne that can still easily take care of you post story and into the Guiding Lands. Let's listen to the soundtrack. It's your typical bunch of horns thrown in with the sound of someone using a skeleton's ribcage as a xylophone, so there's not much to discuss here. As far as builds go, I've been using this. It's a pretty broad build that doesn't focus on this horn specifically. The skills you want to focus on are crit eye for that 40% affinity, attack boost level 4 mainly for the 5% affinity and some attack as a bonus, critical boost to push our damage even further, Weakness exploit for some more affinity on weak points and wounded parts. Agitator level 3, only because I haven't finished up the charm. Horn Maestro for long song duration. Blight resistance level 1 is important to pair with coalescence so we can sneak in some extra attack and elemental damage. So it's probably pretty clear that I definitely think this is a horn you should build, and honestly the sooner you can, the better. This isn't going to out DPS, acidic, or even the bone horn itself, but this one will be loads easier to augment, and that 20% affinity goes a long way when you pair it with crit eye and attack boost to have you sitting at 65% affinity before you even factor in anything else. I myself stick to just having level 1 handicraft with the master's touch, because with just a little focus on where you're hitting, you can last a long time in that white sharpness, and you can surely last till the monster transitions to another area. But my decorations are also doo-doo, so if you have better ones and can slot those in instead, feel free to. That's going to be it for this one, guys. The Fulgering Horn is a diamond in the rough that you can access extremely early. Unlike its subspecies counterpart, it gives you a nice boost in affinity rather than putting you in the hole. You pair that with Attack Up XL, and you can guarantee you'll be doing some solid damage regardless of the monster you're fighting. If you like this video, please do let me know with a thumbs up. Comment down below what horn you think I should do next. Do you like how we're going off the meta path? Let me know that too in the comments. Subscribe, if you haven't already, for more Iceborne and Hunting Horn content. Stay tuned for my top 5 weapon classes that I play as well. Have a good night, and happy hunting.